This series of tutorials will help you get started with Gecko as quickly as possible. So you obviously downloaded it from the Airspace Store, and you can launch it from there, but on your hard drive you can also directly retrieve Gecko from your home folder. So if you open your home folder, you can go to the Applications folder, and then you'll find the Airspace Apps folder, and in there, Gecko is available as a regular application. You can then, for instance, create an alias to it where you might need it most. So let's now launch Gecko for the first time. When you launch Gecko, you will see a quick start guide that guides you through the four easy steps to get started with Gecko. So let's move those windows a little bit out of the way so that I can do this in parallel. The first step shows you that you have to move your hand and then you will see the squares being highlighted by Gecko. So these squares are gray now and you can see as I move into different axes that these different squares highlight. The fact that they are gray means that they are not sending out MIDI, but that Gecko is detecting that your hand is available. So let's go to the next step. You can see that you have to double click on a square that indicates a particular direction so that you can access the configuration at the bottom. For instance, this square with the up down arrow corresponds to your hand moving up and down. As I double click it, the configuration panel in the bottom will scroll to the relevant section. For instance, left right, which is this arrow here, if I double click there, it scrolls to this particular configuration. So let's click on the up and down arrow as the quick start guide tells you to do. The next step tells you that you have to click and drag a parameter inside the configuration panel. So let's do that. I've got this first parameter, which is the MIDI message. And as soon as I set this to a particular value and I move my hand, you can see that there's a difference between your hand being open and being closed. If I move my hand, I can see the square being highlighted in a color. And there is a bar moving up and down to the right with the MIDI data that is being sent out. And finally, obviously you have to select where the MIDI has to be sent to. To do that, you go to your document settings and select the MIDI output port that has to be used by Gecko. And when you're done with that, MIDI will be sent to the device that is ready to receive it.